This is AppChasers.com. Today we're taking a look at a great app for setting reminders for yourself when you get to a specific location. That app is called Checkmark 2 and it's available in the iTunes App Store. Let's get right into our review of Checkmark 2. Now you'll see here up the upper left hand corner we've got our menu icon where we can select which kind of reminder we want to uh, create. So we've got a when reminder which sets uh, schedule based reminders. We've got where, which is based on our location, and then we've also got lists that can develop lists of items that we might want to buy not related to a location or a time. Let's go right into our when tab here, and at the upper right hand corner you'll see a plus sign. If we click on that, it'll bring up a new task that we can name. So let's just say uh, this is our buy milk task. We can also add notes to that task, and then we can set when we want it to uh, alert us. So we can go into the future here, we can set a specific time, and then we can also repeat this task by clicking on the right hand tab there, and we can select different, uh, different schedules that we might want this to reoccur. For example, we can pick daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and then our custom, uh, schedule here for reoccurring reminders we can select every Monday and Friday or every weekday we can also select the weekends too so let's just say we want this to go off every Monday and Friday and we'll hit done so now this will add us to our reoccurring list or reoccurring reminders here at the bottom of the screen you'll see scheduled reminders reoccurring and then those that we've completed already right now we don't have any of those now let's go back into our menu icon at the upper left. This time we're going to set a location reminder under the Where tab. We see we've got a few different locations already set up here, but we'll show you how to create one on the fly. In the upper right hand corner, we'll click on that plus icon again. Now it's going to want to know what's the location that we want to be reminded at. So we'll say Hollywood Market, which is a grocery store in our area. Okay, so we'll call that Hollywood Market. Now it's going to ask us where is that location. We can select the location from a few different uh, options here. Add from a map, add from your current position if we're in that location already, or import it from our contacts. So of course we don't have grocery stores in our contacts, so we're going to say add it from the map. Now when we click on the map option, we've got here a global overview. In order to get better location awareness where we are right now, we're going to click on the little arrow in the lower left hand corner. So here we are in Michigan and we can zoom in, see exactly where we're at, and now we can go up at the, at the top here and search for Hollywood markets in the area. So we'll continue to search. Okay, there's Hollywood supermarkets and uh, let's see. Let's click on this one see if this is the one we want. Okay, that's great. That's the exact uh, location that we want to mark here. At the bottom of the screen here, we'll see our rate, location radius in meters. So we can set that up to alert us within a distance uh, radius here. For example, we've got 200 meters uh, right now. We can go all the way up to uh, 2 kilometers, 5 kilometers. But we want to do it actually when we get very close to the market here. And we'll see it's in a 100 meter radius. So anytime we're driving down Main Street here, we'll get an alert that we're in the area of Hollywood Markets. We can also look at a hybrid sal satellite view here showing us uh, where we're going to be uh, notified when we're in that range. So let's say, let's go ahead and click done here. And we can add an icon to our Hollywood Market location here. And since it's a grocery store, we'll click on the uh, shopping cart to indicate that. So we'll say done. And here you see right at the bottom, we've got our Hollywood Market already set. So if we click on that, we can now add a task or a reminder. So we can say that we want to buy bread. So we'll say buy bread. And we can set an arrival and a departure time so we can say, we want to, upon arrival, we want to be notified 10 minutes after I arrive, 5 minutes after 
up to 60 minutes after we arrive at that location. So that's a nice feature uh, so that, you know, when we get to a location, we might be taking care of a few different things and we don't want to be reminded right when we show up because we might uh, overlook that reminder. But if we are reminded 10 minutes, say, after we get there, then we might be better able to focus on that task. So we'll say done there. And there we've got our buy bread uh, reminder in the Hollywood Market location. Now we do have a groceries uh, uh, location already set up here in the upper left hand corner. We can go ahead and drag our Hollywood Market into that groceries group. So we'll show you what that means. So we've got groceries already uh, set here so we'll just say done. But you can drag two locations onto each other to create a location group. We'll hit done, we'll show you what that means. So if I click on my groceries now group, you'll see here that that buy bread reminder now shows up under some other locations that I have in that group, Meyer, Costco, and Hollywood Market. So if I'm at any of those locations, my reminder will come up. So it's a nice way to set one reminder and no matter what grocery store we go to, we'll get that reminder when we're there. Now let's look at another feature here and that's our lists feature. We've got uh, lists that are not linked to uh, reoccurring events or location reminders. So this is just a nice way that uh, Checkmark 2 offers to categorize lists that we can keep track of within the app. Now we might have other apps that do that too, but it's nice that Checkmark uh, put it right in here with our when and where tabs as well. And if it's something that interests you, you'll find that you'll be uh, wanting to receive alerts when you get to different locations or at different time intervals that you set, you'll want to check this app out in the iTunes App Store.